All right, so we've talked about your dog's mental state when doing the collar conditioning, obedience work, the hold and fetch commands that this dog is, you know, submissive and calm and focused and has this kind of, you know, look to it. It is very critical that you are doing other things with the dog to counterbalance this. And what I mean are like fun retrieves, going out and doing marked retrieves with bumpers and hopefully birds. I'd like you to be using birds as much as possible unless your dog is really rough with the bird. Now, we do not expect your dog to bring the bird back and to hold it correctly. That's why you're doing the fetch and hold command training separate. Eventually these things will come together, but right now it's critical that your dog is out having fun retrieving, getting birds hopefully, and getting and that side of things is different. That's the natural part of the dog. The I want to chase and kill and and you're bringing out that desire, the instinct, and hopefully the genetics of the well-bred dog that you've bought. That is what we want to have as far as the quote-unquote fun side for the dog. Then on the other side, again, you have the obedience work, fetch, hold, you know, eventually you're forced to pile and your tee and swim by. And all that is more in the realm of obedience. We want a real calm, real cooperative type dog in that. And we want a really excited dog having fun when we're doing marking or flushing birds. It's very important that we have both going on in training to try to balance things out. I have found that most people are really good at having their young dogs having fun and they are weak in the area of you know getting the on on the force fetch and the collar condition getting the dog calmer and more obedient and a little more serious about things so we need both 